Welcome to my very first video. Today we're doing Planet Zoo franchise mode and I hope you enjoy it. So let's just hop right in. Okay, so when you first start a zoo, it is empty. It is barren. It has a few trees, plants, whatever it is that fits the environment. And the entry to the zoo, I think, always looks just like this. I think the only thing that might change is the path. For desert paths, what would we like? Because we could stick to the what they quote unquote suggest, but we have a whole ton of options. All right, aligning to the grid keeps things straight. It is actually very crooked. That's so frustrating. Maybe that will get us straight. Aha, that's way closer. Okay, so now, from a distance it looks way better. Path has committed a crime in the past, that's why he's crooked. <laughs> so now we have the first paths down, and we have a whole bunch of conservation credits from my other zoos within my franchise. I'm going to not use those as best that I can. I'll just assume that you start with zero and use what I earn, and I'll keep track with it some way, somehow. Are we thinking Australia theme? Um, New World, South America, Indian. I have not done an Indian theme, even though it's freaking incredible. It's so pretty. Have you guys seen this? This is the little exhibits that you put little critters in. Ohio themed, no. Hold on, let's let's see. That would be, um, nope, not that one, this one. Oh, nope, not that one. Good Lord, use your eyeballs. Ohio theme right there. Except this is actually still better than Ohio. Okay, we're going with the Indian theme then. Um, so the first thing that we need to do is get a trade center because you literally cannot start your zoo without one. But let's see what we can build because that's actually the most fun aspect. Well, one of the most fun aspects of Planet Zoo. We won't get into how what's the most fun aspect because I'll say everything is eventually. The guests are the one part that I don't like, but that's literally just because the game itself cannot handle the guests. Cannot handle it. <laughs> okay, so let's go into construction. See what the Indian construction items are. Let's go for the walls. We're just going to go very, very basic to start with because we do not have a lot of money. But I do want it to look nice, even from the beginning. I can uh, put some trim on it so it won't look so bad. We will add details to the outsides of the building later, promise. Um, and right now I'm gonna leave the backside undecorated because nobody can tell the difference. That'll save us money so that we can make it better later on. Okay, we're gonna get the keeper hut first. Large for 4,000 or small for 1,000. Start small, upgrade later. Veterinary surgery is what needs to be next. Over here, we can put a research center. Uh, the research centers are how you unlock new um, enrichment items and care and in, like uh, the information that guests can learn about, which will increase the tipping that you get from them. So now we have everything that we need for our staff. We have the trade center, we have the research center, vet surgery, keeper hut, quarantine, staff room, and workshop. Okay, so when you originally start the franchise mode, um, you do not have all of these unlocked. I have these unlocked from the research that my other zoos within my franchise have already done. I honestly don't know how to tackle that, I'm trying to keep things like what you would originally <laughs> have, so we're just not going to worry about that so that things aren't too stressful and they can just stay fun. All of the uh, mechanisms for the camera movement in this game are the opposite of what Sims 4 is, so I always misclick things constantly.
Trim might seem like a waste of money, but it makes it look better, and that increases staff welfare, guest opinion, which increases tipping and income. So it is ultimately important. I could do this. Look, now it'll just run off. Do you like that better? Because I could do it like that or like that. Honestly, I think I do like it better too. So I'm glad you agree. <laughs> but I need to put the little building labels on these. Otherwise, I'm never going to remember which one is which. Center. Oh, what? Indian tradesman card. That's cool. They're the same price? Okay. So I'll just decorate it like with these little things. Oh my gosh, this is literally so cute. This is such a cute little little wagon. Little cart. <laughs> Our staff headquarters are all set. Step one actually is, or I guess now it's step two, is to actually set up a food court type area for your guests. You have to go into the align grid and that way you can get this square shape without any gaps and without wanting to bash your head in because it's so hard to do. Because if I had done it this way, You see, it'll leave that little, little hole there, so. See, these shells are freaking incredible. How, this is the small one, so it only has one, which is right there where that uh, elephant head is. It takes up a whole hell of a lot of space, but ultimately worth it. Since it's a desert, I think that we should go for, should we go for the gulpy slush or the gulpy soda? While you're giving me your opinion, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the other shells. We have that in, we're down to $17,000. We're going to put in a drink stall. We said the slush. Okay, so we might put an information center in later on, but right now I'm gonna go with the uh, mementos because they sell for more and they sell better things <laughs> now for the food stalls this is a desert so i want to try to keep that in mind so i think i'm just going to go with an ice cream and a pizza pin now we're down to nine thousand dollars and we have all of the things the main things that we need we are starting with our ostriches get ourselves a male first immunity is 17 percent balls I think this is going to be our only option because it's the only one that's worth money. All right, now we're gonna get ourselves a female. Immunity for that is better. Longevity is way too low though. So we're going with Simba. Talib and Simba are going to quarantine. Oh, right, I have not actually hired any staff. Here we go. Okay, so now we need two keepers to start. Two caretakers, one mechanic. Honestly, you can go without security for a little while. Two veterinarians. And then no educators yet. Now they're ready to actually transport my lovely little animals. So, 1,313 square meters of land for their habitat. Okay, we're gonna go with the corrugated metal fences for now. Going to connect it directly here. And what else you can do is move a whole section straight out individually. And that should have given us well over what we need. Nope. Oh, that's so funky. It looks terrible from above. Oh my gosh. That's atrocious. Let's fix that. I'm too much of a perfectionist for this nonsense. Why am I doing this? It does not need to be perfect, and yet it has to be. Well, if you don't look too closely, it's perfectly square. Wink, wink. 
and it's, ooh, that's so satisfying. It's exactly 1200 meters squared. Now we'll just make this fit to the path. That might be the better option. That will help change the size to what probably is actually correct. Yep, 1360. Bring this and do glass, which costs a hell of a lot, but is the best way to get your guests to not be annoying as hell saying that they can't see. One way glass so that stress is a little bit lower on the animals. I always forget to add the habitat as soon as I make it. So now staff, work zones, edit work zone, just to add that. All right, now we're finally transpo transporting them to where they belong. I kept almost saying transplanting. <laughs> we're low on cash. We have less than 5,000 now, but that should go up as soon as the freaking people get here. Okay, so they're immediately coming in here. What are their thoughts? They are literally not even going to the ostriches. Oh, these guys are. Y'all are cool. I want to get in education boards because that will increase tipping like I had mentioned earlier. All right, so this is our girl and our boy, Simba and Talib. Right now we have 57 guests and I'm feeling pretty dumb for not getting the info booth. Thing is going pretty well. We have no donation there. We have $10 donation there. So we have a $10 donation so far in total. <laughs> Let's see if I can get uh, an exhibit. So what we're going to do is go to finances, loans, and take a $20,000 loan. Now that we have that placed, we can go to the exhibit trading. Eastern brown snake, giant desert hairy scorpion, gila monster, Mexican red knee tarantula, sacred scarab beetle, and western diamondback rattlesnake. We will go for the gila monster. Almost, Kevin. And sacred scarab. to go in here and make sure that the temperatures and such are appropriate. Oop, layout. Ooh, we have not researched our sacred scarab beetles at all. So we go into vet research and get do it. We need to go into staff, work zones, edit, add those guys in there. And then we earned a thousand dollars for getting two species of exhibit critters. Get us uh, some springbok. Let's look for a male. 216. Oof. We'll go with him and just try to better our lineages. Ooh, a VIP guest. Oh my goodness, it's myself. Yeah, this is what my character looks like. <laughs> This is the first person view. That's hilarious. I'm gonna grab a couple more caretakers because they seem very busy. And let's get the habitat appropriate for the spring buck. Our spring bug here has a terrible terrain. Okay, so we'll give her more grass. What we'll do is just do grass first and then more of the other stuff after that. There we go. Environment, coverage is great. Terrain, enrichment. She needs more enrichment. Give them scratching tree. Wait, actually that was super expensive. So 
Oh, nope, they're all the same price. So bring that back. Have a tree. And then food. I'll give them the ball. Now, change this over to the spring buck. Change, keep that, but change this one to the spring buck. This one down here. Duplicate it. I don't know why I did it that way. It doesn't make any sense. But we'll ignore that. Take a look at our critters. Right, they don't have anything for their layout yet because I hadn't researched them. So now they have a little bit of something in there. 2D facade. Mission failed. Or facade. Or 3D facade. Okay, so we're going for the 3D facade on that one. And on this one. We will go with a 3D facade because look at that. She's right up there. Look at her. She's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I love the Gila monsters. Where's my other guy at? Oh no, you're in here. Okay, straight up. It's always so fun to try to find them. Find the exhibit animals because they really do hide very well. I didn't realize that they have little- oh my gosh, that's incredible. Alright, seriously, did I like forget to put the other one in here? No, wait, go back. Okay, Jason is up there, but where is... Tinball? Tinball? How did- What the hell? How are you in there? You were literally inside of the rocks. This does not make sense to my brain. Ooh, she's about to have offspring. Vet research is complete on sacred scare. All right, the way that they give birth is literally just by laying down, so no worries. If you don't know anything about Planet Zoo, do not worry. You do not have to see anything you do not wish to see. Da da da, she's a phantom. <laughs> there we go, we got a little baby. Hashim. He has fairly okay genetics. Oh, she only had one this time around. That is super uncommon. Is her fertility low? Eh, she is not the best fertility. Okay, so now we're being told to get a security guard. I will go ahead and do that. There we go. Let's see, work zones. Put him in the all- Oh, put her in the all access. There we go. That's my apologies. Now we have $9,000. Um, what we should do is marketing we will do cereal box adverts and our total profit is improving somewhat question mark no it's not let's get more exhibits because they're cheap and easy and bring in a lot of money when you do it right and hopefully i can do it right <laughs> oh my goodness these are the new guys Crested Newts. Let's see, we have a Bobita and a Binche. Send them here. Aha! These guys will get you bank from just having mad crazy sex. They have so many babies and you can sell them for a good amount. Ooh, the Newts! Oh, the Newts have the coolest freaking habitat! Oh, that's awesome. Oh, shoot. I haven't even put these on what they need to be to get attention from guests. Oh, weird. Holy crap. Don't know why that happened, but it's actually cool. And you know what? I'll work with that by putting some water. No! Less than a thousand dollars, I know. I know, it's so bad. It happens so fast in the beginning. But hopefully, my plan works. Boom. You son of a bitch! Stop doing that! That doesn't look great, but it'll do. We're down to $814. Hopefully my cockroach plan works out. Giant burrowing cockroach. 
Hey, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it like that. Giant burrowing cock. Okay, let's see. What did we do? We got education to two stars, and we got a thousand dollars for that, I think. Okay, let's go see the mate. This is literally how they mate. They just cuddle. It's so cute. Not pregnant this time. Next time, my dear. Ooh, the inspector is here. Hello, Mrs. Inspector. They walk ungodly slow, so it technically takes them like a whole year to inspect our zoo. It's so funny. Okay, it actually just takes a couple in-game months, but it's still funny. Let's increase the prices. 12, because bubblegum is disgusting. I don't want to see nobody eating it. I always feel evil when I change the prices of things, but you gotta do what you gotta do to get that money. It is increasing our profits already. I actually like seeing the green, pink, and blue, so they'll all be seven, ex and then the orange will be the eight. Don't wanna be too evil. <laughs> I just wanna control what f color I see. I have negative amounts of money. Time for a new loan. We have not even paid off half of our original loan. So now we're taking a $50,000 loan. Okay, we'll go for Rahima and we need a male. Wumbu. Oh my god, he's gonna die in like two days. He's already six years old and his longevity is zero percent. No, thank you. Somebody put a good one. Oh crap, oh crap. I've run out of opportunities. Oh my god. Refresh. Crap, I'm gonna have to get Wumbu. He has 0% fertility. He's gonna freaking die soon. That's so sad. R.I.P. Wambu. Already. Hopefully, they'll be happy and I might just need to change up the terrain or something a little bit. Release one springbok to the wild. Okay, please have more sex. Longevity and fertility is crap. Just her fertility. Let's see if we can find a better male springbok and then release the current one. Dang it, they don't have any more. Aha, oh my gosh, yes, there have been baby roaches. Oh, sorry, baby beetles. Forgot to put K at the end, cause that's how I remember who to keep and who to sell. layout can now have large rock piles woohoo they're a little bit happier finally see what did the inspector say about our zoo let's see view the report cleanliness is great education is not that good and we got a five star on our common ostrich spring buck and now we have to add warthog to the end of that these three are the only three i like to put together into one habitat so we have to make our next habitat Warthog, are you happy? You do not have enough coverage, but to be able to keep inside what they, the other lads like, we have to keep it as minimal as possible. Give them some privacy in their little sleeping area. That should be just enough. The, the springbok is still within limits. And the ostrich is just barely within limit. The custard apple tree are not for the springbok or the ostrich. So let me get something else. So many freaking trees. It looks atrocious, but our sweet little warthogs will be happy. This one has not gotten any do Ooh, $50 donations, but to save money, we'll just move it over here for these guys. Ooh, Nile monitors. Oh, oh, Nile monitors are definitely one of the best for starting, especially if you really like the aquatic uh, habitats. Ooh, I got something. Ooh, guess numbers to 300 at least. We have 316, and I got 500, I think, from that. Our Gila monster. 
I'm pretty sure I say that wrong every single time. Uh, yeah. Has had babies. And we are going to go see them and sell them in just a second. Embrace and Yates. They go to the trade center and then we go into the exhibit trade center and we sell all of what we have now to get $2,532.55. Amazing. Let's go look at which habitat animals to have. Let's see. Continent, Africa, cheetah way too expensive Ooh, we might be able to do the finnick fox i've never had a finnick fox so that's where we're gonna wrap it up today i'm gonna leave us on a bit of a cliffhanger just so we all know what to expect from our next episode thanks for tuning in i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you next time adios